Good morning, everyone. Lauren Richardson here with the latest on winter storm Cooper as well as today's forecast. But we are tracking right now a winter storm warning. Now this is for specific areas of Connecticut, especially along the coastline for Monday and Tuesday. And it's specifically for Fairfield County, New Haven County, as well as Middlesex and New London County. However, we have a watch for the entire state. We might see the warning spread throughout the entire state. We could expect some very heavy accumulating snow as well as some wind gusts too in the specific area that could be 45 to 50 mile per hour uh, wind gusts or more. So we'll be keeping you updated, of course, on that. But right now, it's just a chilly start out there this Sunday. Once again, surprise, surprise, right? It's officially the last day of January, and it is zero degrees right now in Mansfield Center. Thanks to Eric, who sent to, uh, me that temperature in, and one degree in South Windsor. Thanks to Bob, 10 degrees in Killingworth. So still a very chilly start. Even though those winds are a little bit less out there, we're still very cold this morning. A live look in Old Saybrook. Wow, I just love this sunrise shot in the morning, though. It's absolutely beautiful. Our headlines less windy, but definitely cold today. Winter Storm Cooper keeping a close eye on the track of that as it makes its way uh, to our area for tomorrow and Tuesday. And we are expecting some rain as well for Friday and Saturday. So right now it actually feels like it's in the negative still in a lot of areas of our state with some breezy conditions, not very windy conditions, but negative 10 in Windsor Locks, negative one in Norwich, negative of three in Waterbury along the shoreline. We are feeling like we're in the single digits in some areas and those temperatures are actually mostly in the single digits and in the teens along the shoreline. So wind speeds right now are calm as you can see in Hartford and Wilmantic. Along the shore, we're nine miles per hour in New Haven, six miles per hour in Groton coming in from the northwest. Forecast highs for today, we are going to be in the upper 20s and the low 30s. We're going to see those clouds increase as we head throughout the day, getting ready for that storm overnight into tomorrow. And we could be seeing maybe some light and breezy winds at times. Tonight, it is going to be cloudy. We could just see some possible snow showers, nothing really major as we head into tomorrow morning. But that's when we are expecting the snow to start. Now, here is an updated snowfall map as well. We could be seeing 8 to 14 inches for the western portion of our state as well as 5 to 10 uh, for central and also you could see some of eastern Connecticut and 4 to 8 for the southeast corner. Futurecast is showing us right now 415 a.m. So that's when we are starting to see some light snowfall through our state and into tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning we're starting to see some light snowfall accumulate then as we head into the afternoon and evening that's when we are expecting it to be the heaviest. So the evening commute we've been mentioning really expected to be the diciest commute of all. So definitely not a great time to be on the roads and traveling. Now this is the European model. It is actually showing as we head in towards Tuesday morning, we're seeing more of a wintry mix and maybe some rainfall as well. So that definitely uh, could last throughout the entire day. In some areas we could continue to see some of that snowfall too and that wintry mix according to this model and uh, scattered rain and snow throughout Tuesday. So just overall not a great next couple of days as we head in towards Wednesday where we are expected to see a lot of cloud cover on Wednesday. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So windy conditions for Monday, as mentioned, we could be seeing some wind gusts even up to 45, 50 miles per hour. And then Wednesday, 35 degrees Thursday and Friday. That's when we start to trend a little bit warmer. We're looking at temperatures that are going to be in the 40s. We do have a chance of some rain Friday as we head into Saturday.